Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. We're going to be talking to you about this 2011 Volvo XC90. It's an R design and it's got the 3.2 litre V6 engine which is very, very reliable. The R design came with the bigger wheels. It's got the quad exhaust system or quad tips I should say. It's got two remote keys and a third spare. It also has a number of other extras including memory, electric driver's seat, navigation which comes up out of the dash here, reverse camera, rear air conditioning, electric fold-in mirrors, parking sensors and the list goes on. Just to start up, it's done 98,000 kilometres. And I'll show you the reverse camera. It does have Bluetooth as well, which is a good thing to have. The interior is actually in particularly good condition. And the same goes for the roof lining. With these XC90s, it can be hard to find them in good condition because they are family cars after all. So you can see the reverse camera up there. I have driven the car, it drives perfectly, it's had, it has had a check over at a Volvo specialist mechanic who have said it's very good. I think it needed a couple of very minor things, which is to be expected with nearly 100,000 kilometres, but they have already been done. Uh, I mentioned it has parking sensors as well as the reverse camera. It is a seven seater. And again, interior is excellent. The very back seats hardly look like they've been used. Sorry, it's a bit dark in the video. Again, the roof lining is excellent. It does have tinted windows. It's probably helped keep the interior in such good condition. Yeah, it's got the beautiful R Designer alloy wheels, which are probably the best looking, one of the best looking wheels on this model. I can't see any dents in this car either, which again is pretty common. It's a family car, it spends a lot of time in parking stations and car parks at the supermarket, so you're gonna get little dings and parking dings, shopping trolley scratches and things, but uh, it certainly doesn't seem to be one of those cars. It actually looks to be in very good condition compared to other XC90s that uh, we have seen. It does have Xenon headlights, and it's also got directional headlights basically means when you turn the steering wheel the uh, the headlights actually move as well it's quite a good feature to have they look fantastic and I think they had the same model around for about 11 years they ran from 2002-2003 right up to about 2014 so it was a very successful model. This was getting towards the end of the range. The very early ones had a couple of issues, uh, but they were certainly ironed out by 2011. And we are starting to see them with two, well over 200,000 kilometres and even 300,000 kilometres. We are also finding people are now trading in their uh, their older XC90s with you know, two or 300,000 kilometres and uh, literally just upgrading into a car with less, less mileage. And... Uh, a few years newer but it's a very impressive car generally people who've had them uh, do tend to just upgrade into newer models because they drive particularly well very safe I mean I don't think there's ever been a fatality in a Volvo XC90 in Europe Let's just call it the UK, but that's pretty impressive when you consider how many XC90s have been sold. You can Google it and it'll tell you. But it's very impressive. It's easy to see why. They're just so safe. The all-wheel drive system helps them keep themselves on the road. And again, you know, being an SUV, look, they are a lot safer if you get hit by a car. 
you know, if you pull, if you pulled out and someone ran into the side of you, they might hit your driver's door. Instead of going straight into the door, it'll go under you. Uh, we've got a number of XC90s in stock at the moment. Sometimes we have five, sometimes we have none, sometimes we have one. People say, why do you guys, Phil, why do you have so many XC90s? It's simple. They're very reliable. We don't have warranty issues with these XC90s. They sell quickly and they are great value. You know, to be able to buy something like this, a, 20, a family car like this for around $20,000. Certainly very good buying in my opinion. Uh, we can help you with finance. We're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. We can send the car into state to Perth, Melbourne, Queensland, wherever you like. Or you can fly in and drive out. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to give us a call or contact one oh two nine five six nine double nine double nine. And uh, you can ask for myself. My name's Philip, and I'd be certainly more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching our video, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.